Hi students, welcome back to our class. How are you all? I hope you all are fine. Students, now I am going to teach you lesson number one, matter, subject physics, class eight. Students, I told you the three states of matter. solid liquid and gas now i will teach you molecular model of solid liquid and gas so firstly i will teach you the molecular model of solid as you can see the image so here we observe that the molecules of solid are closely packed and the intermolecular force of attraction is more in solid and the intermolecular space is negligible as you can see in the image and students the molecules of solids are vibrate at their own position because they have very low kinetic energy as you can see the arrangement of molecules of solid examples of solid ice wood stone chair table wall brick these are the examples of solid and solids are hard strong and rigid material because the molecules are tightly packed students due to the strong intermolecular force solid have definite size shape and volume and the molecules in solids do not have free movement they cannot flow students the solid cannot be compressed as you can see solids change into liquid upon heating now students i will teach you the molecular model of liquid as you can see the image of molecular model of liquid here the molecules of liquid they have more space between the molecules in comparison of solid and the intermolecular force of attraction is weak in liquid and students the molecules of liquid are free to move within the boundary now the properties of liquids see the examples of liquid water oil milk kerosene petrol diesel these are the examples of liquid liquids are not rigid and because the weak intermolecular force liquid have no definite shape of their own they take the shape of the containers and liquids have a definite volume that you can see and students liquids can flow from higher to a lower level students liquids change into gaseous state upon heating 
and this process is called evaporation similarly liquids change into solid state upon cooling students now i will teach you the molecular model of gas so students in gas the molecules are free to move here and there very easily because they have enough kinetic energy and the space between the molecules of gases is more in comparison of solid and liquid and the intermolecular force of attraction is negligible as you can see the molecular model of gases now see the examples of gases hydrogen oxygen carbon dioxide nitrogen helium argon these are the examples of gases gases are not rigid gases neither have a definite shape nor a definite volume and the intermolecular distance in gases is very large gases can be compressed easily and students in gases the molecules have free random movement so they can flow easily in all directions and gases change into liquid state upon cooling through a process called condensation now students i will teach you change of state the process of change of one state to another state by absorption or rejection of heat at constant temperature here you can see in this image the change of solid state to liquid state liquid to gaseous state so i will explain these definitions to you melting the process of change of solid state to liquid state on heating at constant temperature is called melting the temperature at which solid change to liquid without further increase in temperature is called melting point and you know the melting point of ice is 0 degree celsius the melting point of wax is 55 degree celsius at which the solid change to liquid state without further increase in temperature i will teach you explanation of melting by molecular model as you know that the molecules of solid they are closely packed they have more intermolecular force of attraction and these molecules can vibrate at their mean position because they have low kinetic energy but on heating these molecules get the enough kinetic energy to overcome the force of attraction and they vibrate more violently and they have 
some space between the molecules they have some space on heating they change into solid state to liquid state now students i will teach you the definition of freezing the process of change of liquid state to solid state on cooling at fixed temperature and this process is called freezing and students the temperature at which liquid state change to solid state without further decrease in temperature is called the freezing point of that liquid you know the freezing point of water is 0 degree celsius and the freezing point of wax is 55 degree celsius at which liquid state change to solid state without further decrease in temperature now the next definition vaporization or boiling students the process of change of liquid state to gaseous state on heating at constant temperature is called vaporization or boiling and the temperature at which liquid state change to gaseous state without further increase in temperature is called the boiling point or vaporization point the boiling point of water is 100 degree celsius now students i will teach you explanation of vaporization or boiling by molecular model here you can see liquid the molecules of liquid have space we can say less space between the molecules and they are free to move within the given boundary and the force of attraction between the molecules is weak and they have low kinetic energy but on heating the molecules of liquid get more kinetic energy to overcome the force of attraction of the molecules and they move freely on heating that you can see these molecules are free to move and the force of attraction between the molecules becomes negligible because they get the more kinetic energy on heating and the force of attraction becomes negligible and they are free to move here and there very easily and this is the change of liquid states to gaseous state on heating now students i will teach you the definition of condensation so the process change of vapor state to liquid state on cooling at fixed temperature and 
this process is called condensation and students the temperature at which vapor state change to liquid state without further decrease in temperature is called condensation point i hope students you understood the molecular model of solid liquid and gas and the change of state of matter to other state thank you